Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see a question today on the topic of limits. So as you know, from today, we'll be starting off with our new series wherein I'll be doing or I'll be solving one question every day from JWE Advanced. So let's start off with the series and our first question today is on the topic of limits. So let's see the question. The question says, that you need to find the limit when x tends to zero. And the expression given to us is eight upon x raised to eight multiplied with one minus cos of x square by two minus cos of x square by four plus we have been given the product of the two again. So cos of x square by two into cos of x square by four. So this is the entire expression given to us. We need to find the limit for this. And we have been given that is equal to 2 raised to minus k. So we have been asked to find the value of this unknown k. So we need to find the value of k in this question. And the four options that are given to us in the question says a4, b as minus 4, c is plus 5, d is minus 4. So we need to find the value of this k. Let's understand how do we solve this question. So first step, if I try to write the limit again, it's given to us limit x tends to zero, eight upon x raised to eight multiplied with one minus cos of x square by two minus cos of x square by four and plus product of the two. So let's first evaluate this limit and then whatever answer we get, we'll equate that with two raised to minus k so that we get the value of k here. So if I try to solve this, I get limit x tends to zero, eight upon x raised to eight into, here if I see nothing is common, so I'll take out common as one. So you have left out one minus cos of x square by two, Minus, if you see in the two terms that are left out, cos of x square by 4 is common. So I take out that common. Again, what I'm left with is 1 minus cos of x square by 2. So now what I understand is 1 minus cos of x square by 2 is common. 2 out in this bracket. So if I take that out, you get limit x tends to 0, 8 upon x raised to 8. 1 minus cos of x square by 2 and whatever is left out will come in the second bracket. So you have 1 minus cos of x square. Further, if I try to solve this idea, now we know already that 1 minus cos 2 theta is nothing but 2 sine square theta. So this becomes the half angle of 2 theta. So now if I do that same idea here, if I use that, I get limit x tends to 0, 8 upon x raised to 8. Now 1 minus cos of x square by 2, that will make it 2 sine square. And this will become x square by 4. Further, this idea, if I use it here again, 1 minus cos of this will also become 2 sine square x square by so let's understand this now let's try to solve this we already know one idea in terms of sine theta that limit of x tends to zero sine theta upon theta is equal to right so let's use that idea here so if i try to write this expression again that is given to us limit x tends to 0, 8 upon x raised to 8. I can write this as, so 2 is multiplied as sine of, this is x square by 4, your whole square, into 2. You have 
x square by 8 now again the whole ratio right now if i try to solve this you get limit x tends to 0 8 into 2 was 16 and 16 into 2 was 32 so you get it or as 32 now sine of x square by 4 the whole square so if I keep it here, I give it x raised to 4 and the other also at a sign of x square by 8, the whole square, I'll again give it x raised to 4. So now let's try to frame this in terms of sine theta by theta. So limit extends to 0, 32. Into here you get sine of x square by 4 and you can write this as also x square, the whole square. Right? So x squared squared, you adjusted x raised to 4, but I need sine theta upon theta. So you need divided by 4 also. So in the square, if I'm taking divided by 4, means I'm multiplying or I'm dividing this denominator by 4 square. So I need to multiply by 4 as well. And further, if I try to solve this, sine of x square by 8, again, I'll write this as x squared the whole square so that is also x raised to 4 but adjusting theta again so sine theta by theta so 8 and 8 so you have adjusted this so this and this let's see let's try to solve this entire expression in the same step so if i write this limit extends to 0 32 into sine theta by theta the whole square so that becomes 1 square upon this is 4 squared, so 16. And here also you get sine x squared by 8 upon x squared by 8. So sine theta by theta again 1, 1 squared. So again you get 1 squared. But now you have 8 squared, so 64. So that is the whole idea. I have applied the limit. So I do not need to write this limit as well now. I can just use this so 32 now i can cancel this actually not even no need to even write this entire step so i can do 31 32 ones are 32 twos are so you get the answer as 1 by so for this entire expression we get it as 1 by 32 we have been given that is equal to 2 raised to minus k so if i write this 1 upon 32 is 1 upon 2 raised to k so you get 2 raised to k is 32 so 2 raised to k is nothing but 2 raised to 5 because 2 raised to 5 is here. So from this expression, you get the answer for the question that k is equal to 5. So we have been asked the value of k in this question and we got the answer for the k as 5. And if you see the option that matches here, the question is c. So c is the correct answer for the question that was given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions of limits where we have to solve this entire expression that was equal to 2 raised to minus k. I took out this common, you got two expressions because I used this idea 1 minus cos 2 theta as 2 sine square theta. Further, I just adjusted those limit of x tends to 0 sine theta upon theta. So you got that as 1 and the answer came out 1 by 32. Equating that with 2 raised to minus k gave us the value of k as 5 and that is correct answer C. So I'll see you again tomorrow with the next question. And for this two months, we'll be continuing of this series of questions on GW Advanced. Also, I would like to mention that please do like and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos of GW Advanced questions also with your friends who are involved in the creation of this. Thank you.